Hello YouTubers, it's Brutus here, and today I'm bringing you guys a something different on this channel. Um, today I'll be showing you guys how to duplicate, or or like if you go into your craft menu, any of those items you can duplicate in with this glitch. And it is the villager and pillager update. It's just been released. I'm sure it was released today, because mine just updated. Okay, so. <clears throat> Now let's get started. I just have to run over to my mind, and there's only thing you, two things you need to, like, have is the block that you want to duplicate. You need to have two blocks minimum. Then you need a crafting table. And that would be all. From there on, the rest is easy. Like, it's most probably one of the easiest duplication glitches that was ever like found on Minecraft. Okay, so I'm just going to put all these things in here. Okay, so first things you want to do is go over to your help and options. I don't know if it works on the Xbox, but I know it does work on the PS4. You want to go to help and options, controls, scroll down till you see pick block, and you want to change pick block to the button up to up on the D-pad, and then you're settled. So second thing you want to do is you want to have a, the block you want to duplicate in your inventory, and the same block placed on the ground as you can see there so the one in your inventory you want to move up into your inventory not your hotbar you want to move it out of, the, out of your uh, hotbar into your inventory and now we can get started so what you do is you look at the block and you say see it says pick block so as soon as you press up on the d-pad it'll put the block in your hand but you want to remove it from your inventory just like that so there's nothing in your hotbar Okay, so what you do is as soon as you click up to pick the block you press R1 at the same time And you'll get this two blocks, but don't cycle through them like this Because you can most probably lose it and don't move too much As you can see there's three blocks now. There's one there on the ground and two in my inventory I press square L1 I scroll over to this uh, You know it's like the ingots and so on then you want to make him both diamonds, T just turn them into diamonds. So you can see I have 18 diamonds. Click on the crafting table. You want to scroll down. Nah, you want to go to your crafting table and then you want to scroll down to block of diamond. You want to turn them into diamond. Now, you don't need to put one into the chest and just continue on with just one block. That's going to take long. So as you can see, there's two blocks now. Then, yeah, it's still my placed diamond block. So just up on the d-pad and r1 at the same time you should get this so as you see there's four blocks press square on the d-pad l1 scroll over to your ingots and just turn it into diamonds you see 36 diamonds i'm gonna turn it into blocks now four blocks and put it into inventory as you see there i didn't press r1 at the same time with uh, up on the d-pad so i just put it back into inventory uh, that block is permanent, you cannot lose those four blocks anymore. So you want to press up on the D-pad R1, as you can see there's eight. Just want to cycle through. And yes, just keep on duplicating. But you guys want to keep watching until I get to 64 blocks. Um, that won't take too long, because I want to show you guys a trick at 60 flo 64 blocks. On how to, like, you know, duplicate 64 blocks at a time. It's it's not that easy, but it, it, I can make it simple for you guys. So let me just turn this into blocks. You can see I have 16. Um, okay, so it's up on the D-pad and R1 at the same time. So then you turn it into ingots or diamonds. As soon as it's all diamonds, you are you can do anything with it now. It doesn't disappear. You want to press L1. You want to scroll over to, on the crafting table you want to scroll over to your block of diamonds and you just want to turn it into block of diamonds now you'll see I have 32 so it's just one more and then I have 64 blocks and this is the villager and pillager update I'll show you guys just now uh, yes I, I think it was released today um, so yeah let's just turn this into blocks Then I'll have one stack. You guys can see there's one stack of diamonds, diamond blocks. 
Um, so that is proof. Um, as you guys can see, there's now 264 blocks. So it's going to take a while to turn them all into diamonds and back into blocks. But it's worth it, guys. I promise you, it's worth it. And you can do it with emerald blocks, diamond blocks, gold blocks, uh, so or iron blocks. Um, you can even you can also do it with wheat if you want to do that and maybe use wheat for trading or make a lot of bread. I don't know. Everybody has their own reasons, you know. <laughs> As you can see, there's going to be one stack of diamond blocks in the top inventory, and the second stack of the diamond blocks in the bottom. Um, hot bar as you see like that um, so I have two stacks and it's not even been I think five minutes so you want to go into your chest take the bottom one in your hot bar just press triangle that to throw it into your chest then you can just keep on going with the duplication glitch but as you guys can see um, there's two if I open my injury there's two blocks diamonds but as soon as I quit it's gone so you guys must just watch out. So there it is there. You can see the two blocks. As soon as I go into crossing table, it disappears. So remember guys, it is duplicate square L1. Scroll over to your ingots, go down, turn into diamond blocks. Every single piece must be into diamond diamonds on its own. Not diamond blocks, diamonds on its own. Otherwise you will lose the rest of the diamond blocks. You will kind of come over to your crafting table and you want to turn it all back into a block of diamonds and yeah it's a really easy duplication glitch um, and it, it it worked the previous update and yes oh, I, for, I forgot my tools and so on it's really easy I don't know if I'm the first one to post this Um, I did not I'm not the founder of this glitch uh, but yeah, thanks to the founder of this glitch, he is a good man, I can say. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, if you guys are looking for more videos like this, and now, I was always on the iPhone and Android doing videos there, but I prefer to come to console because it's a lot easier to record the gameplay. You don't need apps and root and all those things. You can just tap a button twice and start recording. And if you guys want tips and tricks, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll try my best to figure it out. As you, I most probably know the glitches and so on those games. And yeah, so guys, thanks for watching. And you guys must enjoy your day. And I hope to see each and every one of you on my next video. Like, comment, share and subscribe.